you. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well-founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood! I can tear a phone book in half of my fair tongue. In fact, I can easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two-inch-thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. There's three drawers, and knowing this station, it costs $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk into two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Hey, Oh, oh, Lalo, Lalo, I think I hurt my hand, but... Pinky's all the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the death is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, that the mom ring from nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruised easily. Don't throw any tofu with her bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, that. You didn't make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the phone swing. It's downright disgraceful. Yeah, they make you talk like this. Okay, the lizard lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're over here. Oh, hey, Lando, don't do this shit. Where'd you think I'm up from? The state even? That wacko you had going on about killers. What a horror. I mean, just read the newspaper. Uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda. Oh. I might as well wear a satellite like this. They can see their propaganda right into my brain. Come on. Do you honestly believe the NSA echelon system is already conversation? It's all designed to fight. Don't complain about a right to be Fight whatever will be meant to come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I don't think I'll be but never again. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chit. Huh? Well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello. My name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it's almost like my second family. Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, I'm a little Cincinnati. We talked to you earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they have the nerve to call crackers this, and they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee bear, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's a little girl, man. Football, now that's American sport. I mean, it's like a good wholesome American value, man. Like, like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. You know, you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court now with the ball, and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men sports like football and hopscotch. Cranky too if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And